City, Barcelona, and play synths in the marketing department. Um, Shannon, Georgia Peterson, guitar and marketing department. Uh, ben Foster, carpet department, uh, bass guitar. Uh, Daniel Brown, car key department. I can't remember the other question. This is Kupe's band. Uh, Conrad, um, Groupie, car key department, Groupie. Can I confirm that you're not Brody? I'm not Brody! Is it true that Khaki Department was chosen as a name when you asked Chat GTP to describe the most depressing band? This is this is Kupe's band. Is it true that the name Khaki Department was a misspelling of the device used to unlock a motor vehicle and it just stuck? Uh sure, yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent, yes. And is it true that the name Khaki Department is derived from a colloquial term for the Hitler Youth? Honestly, I wouldn't have a clue. I wasn't there for the name Origins. Is it true that the name Khaki Department is a callback to your summer job at Pajani? Is it true that the name Khaki Department is named after the two words you got wrong in your year nine spelling bee? Yes, that's, that is correct. Well, I guess there's, there's meaning specific to Kupan Dan, but also like wider meaning, like my two. What's it like letting Jordan have a turn being in control of one of your bands for once? <laughs> this is too much bad. <laughs> How does it feel having your friends help perform the soundtrack to your existential crisis? <laughs> I absolutely fucking love it. I'm very, very privileged to have all of these beautiful people play the music around me. Um, yeah, stoked. I want to know why it is that all of you seem to have satanic signs all over you, and does this music cause you to do the things <laughs> that you do? What satanic signs do I have? I'd love a rundown. Are these ones? <laughs> How do you account for the lyrics from Sunday afternoon being identical <laughs> to those of Tool Song Mantra? <laughs> I was expecting Brody, so why are you here? Like the vibe difference between when Brody was in the band and now Shane was in the band is quite different. Vibes. I would never have been asked to join the band if they didn't want my rungle fuckery in, in there anyway. How would you describe the khaki department sound for fans too lazy to listen to it? <laughs> this is too big fan. It's probably four fans that are lazy because it's a lazy sound. I usually um, get one or two riffs or two chords and that's it. Um, shit house, really. Just absolutely shit. Yeah. Um, I think it is like a giant dark chord. So it's basically like the kind of tone elements of shoegaze but other elements like post rock and post emo. Was the genre slow mosh invented because you can't play fast enough to sound like emo scene core like you initially planned? <laughs> this is good band. Is it difficult playing this slow in this band? Yeah, it's really difficult. Um, it's all just about moving really slowly and absorbing the washiness and getting lost. Every time I, I just struggle to move myself, you know, you get to like three minutes. How do you account for harmonica sounding like a Roll Paris song? I don't know. <laughs> if you took that song, reversed it, played it faster, and performed it better? <laughs> this is good face to hate. Uh, I don't know, Rob Harris is real problematic, so I'm scared to be associated with Rob Harris. Um, I couldn't tell you a single Rob Harris song, um, so I'm not well equipped to answer that question, but... Uh, and uh, I think it talks about kangaroos, and uh, we're definitely kangaroos. I have been told that I do similar things to Rob occasionally, but definitely not Rob. It's the catchiest riff I know. And I can say that because I didn't write it.
Considering your proficiency at twisting knobs in your solo project synthetic children, mm-hmm. how does playing with others compared to playing with yourself? <laughs> um, twisting knobs by yourself um, is, is a lot more fun um, because no one judges you for the way you twist your knob, uh, which is why I just play keys in the target department and I don't really twist any knobs. Is this band just promotion for your radio show on Radio Control 99.4, or is the show just a promotion for your band? Um, I think it's a bit of both. Um, I definitely, uh, because of Radio Control, is the reason I'm in Kaki Department, so yes. Yes is the answer. Synthetic children might sound chaotic at times, but I'm actually in quite good control of what is happening most of the time. Is it true that your motto, hug your friends and family, had a more sinister message initially, but people accidentally assumed you were a nice guy? A hundred percent. Fucking hell, a hundred percent. Honestly, I think Kaki is more loose than some dead children at times. Like, there's a lot more, like, chaos in terms of Dan sometimes just decides to add a new section to a song. Is it true that you're in direct competition with Daniel Brown to be in the most bands in the Manawatu? Yes. Yeah. He doesn't know that far, but he will find out. If there are so many great Palmy bands, why is Daniel Brown and SGP in all of them? <laughs> Why are you in direct competition with SGP to see who can be in the most bands, and why are they winning despite your 25-year advantage? This is good. What is SGP and Anagram for? My full name, Shannon Georgie Peterson. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Would you recommend for fans, um, since they're so good at ignoring yours, new, new <laughs> bands that they can ignore? Well, seeing as we're touring with them, I should probably suggest you check out Piney Radiata. They've only got one single out, um, they've done a live session on Radio Control, it's very good. I go listen to Synthetic Children's Sports Dreams, Polaroids of Polar Bears, Fun Life Breakout Suite, Piney Radiata, and uh, a whole bunch of other awesome one or two bands. Just go have a gander. Persimmon, I don't know. I'm personally really into Fish, um, F-E-S-H-H. Did you, not mention, did you not mention First Move because First you're in competition? Move. Oh, you know, we're in direct competition with First Move and Soda Boys, fuck those guys. <laughs> There's no competition between us and First Move. They, they can't even put out an album and they've got more hair than us. What's next for the band? We're doing a tour at the end of the year. We're going to play um, with um, Edit in and post playing with some American shoegaze band. Just mouth the words. Spotlights. What's next for the band? This is Google Band. So that's what's next. There'll be an album release before that and a live cut um, split with Tiny Radio, who we will be touring with. Any final words, parting wisdom, or apologies to your fans or family? Um, I'm sorry, Mum and Dad, for making such a brace of music. I don't apologise, man. I only run running straight. That's my wisdom. Yeah, that everyone is happy. That fucking thing. Um, no apologies. Don't believe in that shit. It's going to be in Jordan Cooper's band. But it's actually my band. <laughs> it's not Cooper's band. It's fucking mine. <laughs> So you play bass? I do. 